Hello, my name is Sergeant Mattis with the Fargo Police Department. This week's Ask Fargo PD question is, how do we enforce parking restrictions in the city of Fargo? There are different uh, things that we can do to try to enforce. Some are with warnings, some are with uh, citations, and also with impounding your vehicle. Some of the things we give warnings for are unpaid tickets. If you see something that looks like this, that indicates that this vehicle has unpaid parking tickets and is eligible for impound. So this, if you get a, something like this, this is a warning. We also have uh, another warning for not displaying your mobility impaired card. So if you have, uh, you're parking in the ADA handicapped spot and you uh, do not place your placard appropriately, um, you might get a warning like this. If you get a warning like this, it says that uh, placards must be hung from the rear view mirror, um, and if you don't hang it like that, you'll, you potentially will get a warning. Another one that we have is this type of notice. You see this yellow type notice? It talks about your vehicle having expired tabs. You can't drive on the city streets with expired tabs, and you can't park on the city streets with expired tabs. So if you see this notice, please get your tabs replaced as quick as you can so to avoid getting a, a citation and or getting your vehicle impounded. Which leads me to this last one. This one is our city tow tag. If you see this tag, it doesn't mean that you're definitely gonna get towed instantly. It means within 48 hours, you're gonna get towed. So if you see this tag, do what you can to get your vehicle moved so you do not get impounded. Lastly, we do have our citations. And these citations are the ones that'll be uh, given to you if you park too close to a fire hydrant, if you park across a sidewalk, if you park uh, too close to a stop sign, in any no parking zones or um, things like that. And then they are elevated fines too, so if you don't pay in time, it'll be $5 extra uh, if you're 10 days late, and then another $45 on top of that if you're 30 days late. And also if you know that if you have two unpaid parking tickets and they are more than 30 days late, your vehicle is then eligible to be impounded. So try to avoid that, pay your tickets, you can do this online. Downtown parking is a little bit different and a little more complex. We do contract with Interstate Parking to do our enforcement for downtown parking. But I want everybody to be very, very careful when you're parking downtown that you're making sure that you're looking at all the different signage that's in the block radius. And so you're making sure that you are in compliant with those so you don't get a citation. There is plenty of parking in ramps, but people want to park on the street which is great, just make sure you're looking at the signage. Thank you for the question of the week. Uh, if you have any further questions in regards to parking restrictions or how we do enforcement, uh, please leave comments or leave your questions below. Thanks again and have a great day.